हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्वेश्चन इज द टोटल स्ट्रेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन अ बॉडी इज कॉल्ड द टोटल स्ट्रेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन अ बॉडी इज कॉल्ड रेजिलियंस द टोटल स्ट्रेन एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन अ बॉडी इज कॉल्ड रेजिलियंस ऑप्शन वन इज द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ एन एरिया विल बी लीस्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू वॉट विच एक्सेस मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ एन एरिया विल बी लीस्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सेंट्रल एक्सेस विल बी लीस्ट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सेंट्रल एक्सेस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए स्ट्रक्चरल मेंबर सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्जियल कंप्रेसिव फोर्स इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट ए स्ट्रक्चरल मेंबर सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्जियल कंप्रेसिव लोड फोर्स इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रक्ट That is option four. It is called as structure or struct. It is called as struct. Next one. Point of contra flexure occurs only in. Point of contra flexure occurs only in overhanging beams. That is option two is the right answer. It occurs in overhanging beams. Next question. Section modulus is defined as. Section modulus is defined as. right the first option it is w by gy into k square section modulus from the given options w is nothing but the load g is the gravity and y is the deflection and k is the radius of gyration w by gy into k square section modulus next one rankin's constant for a mild steel column with both ends hinged is what the rankin's constant for ms column with both ends hinged it is 1 by 7500 1 by 7500 the rankin's constant for column with both hen both ends hinged next question elasticity of mild steel specimen is defined with definitely it is defined with the elasticity of ms specimen is defined by hooke's law according to hooke's law as we know stress is directly proportional to strain so one of the salient point is elasticity elastic limit so elasticity of a ms specimen is defined with hooke's law next question if modulus of elasticity is equal to 0 the material is said to be what If modulus of elasticity is equal to zero, the material is said to be plastic. The material is said to be plastic. Option two is the right answer. Next one, a uniformly strong beam is one having a uniformly strong beam is the one which is having constant bending moment throughout. Which is having constant bending moment through that is option three is the right answer. Next question: In short columns, failure occurs by. In short columns, failure occurs by what? It occurs by direct compression only. It occurs by direct compression. That is option three is the right answer. Next one. in rectangular beam maximum shear stress occurs at in rectangular beam the maximum shear stress occurs at only at the neutral axis the rectangular in rectangular beam maximum shear stress occurs at neutral axis next one impact strength of a material is an index of its what impact strength of a material is an index of its toughness is an index of its toughness option 1 is the right answer next one what is the relation between elastic modulus and rigidity modulus elastic modulus and rigidity modulus it is g equals to e by 2 into 1 plus 1 by m 2 into 1 plus 1 by m g is nothing but modulus of rigidity E is modulus of elasticity, 
and uh, 1 by m is nothing but it is poisson's ratio so our answer is the relation between elastic modulus and rigidity modulus is g equals to e by 2 into 1 plus 1 by m next one torsional rigidity the torsional rigidity of a solid circular shaft of diameter d is proportional to what torsional rigidity of a solid circular shaft is proportional to what and the options given are d d square 1 by d square and d by uh, d to the power 4 so the torsional rigidity of a solid circular shaft of diameter d is proportional to d to the power 4 it is d square it is d to the power 4 torsional rigidity of a solid circular shaft is proportional to d to the power 4 four next one composite bar of steel and copper is heated up the stresses developed in steel and copper will be composite bar of steel and copper is heated up the stresses developed in steel and copper will be they will be both tensile as well as compressive the stresses will develop will be both tensile and compressive next question rankin's crippling load formula is valid to is it is valid for all the columns rankin's crippling load formula is valid for all the columns next question shear stress in rectangular beam exhibits the shear stress in a rectangular beam exhibits a parabolic variation shear stress in a rectangular beam exhibits a parabolic variation next question more circle can be used to determine the following stresses on the inclined surface more circle can be used to determine following stress on the inclined surface it is tangential stress tangential stress option 3 is the right answer next one section modulus is expressed as section modulus is expressed as i by y section modulus is expressed as i by y next question the steel bars in reinforced cement concrete beam are located at the steel bar in reinforced cement concrete beam are located at the bottom are located at the bottom right so these are the questions related to strength of materials very much useful for both mechanical as well as civil engineering branch right that's all for this video thank you